guys, welcome back to another episode of Bass Fishing with Tom and Vera. Uh, today's video is going to be my top five summer baits and summer techniques, so let's get to it. Alright guys, so definitely my first bait would be have to be the Gary on Motosinko, like you guys just saw. Um, <clears throat> I love Gary Motosinkos because Gary on Motosinkos because they're the most easiest baits to use, and you catch. I've caught most of my fish on these Cinco's, and uh, yeah. So I'm sure you guys, these are the Gary Yamamoto uh, Green Pumpkin Watermelon Cinco's. I usually use uh, Watermelon Pepper Flake or Green Pumpkin Pepper Flake, as long as it's a natural green that works. Um, I think in a couple of days, uh, stay tuned for next week, uh, maybe on Tuesday, I'll have a video put up on how to use Cinco's. Uh, catch a couple fish and then just stay tuned for a couple more videos. But yeah, uh, I like these baits because you can throw them on weightless Texas rigs. You can throw them on heavy Texas rigs. Uh, the way I do it, the finesse rig with the one eighth ounce bullet weight bobber stop and the uh, two watt owner hook. And you just throw these suckers in there and let it pop it off, pop it off the bottom. I'll show you guys what these videos look like. Um, I love the Gary Moto Senkos. That's the only Senko that really works. It's just the price and the durability. Durability sucks. I don't know why. I love them so much because th these are literally the only Cinco's that will catch a fish. But uh, yeah, there's two ways you can use it. You can wacky worm it or you can just straight Texas rig it. So bottom hopping off the bottom. But definitely my number one bait, guys. All right, guys. So now for my second favorite bait, it would have to be the crankbait. Uh, my crankbaits, I've caught in a lot of fish on them. This is probably one of my go-to um baits i really i'm really confident in crankbaits and uh the crankbait i like to use is a strike king 1.0 or the 1.5s 1.0 is very good it's small uh a lot of more fish tend to eat that because it's more of a bait fish uh, presentation a 1.5 is good you're just going to catch a lot more bigger fish but 1.0 i've had way more better luck with big ones and and uh dinks too so uh, my two favorite colors are going to be have to be the sexy shad chartreuse sexy shad uh, Strike King KVD 1.0 and the Gizzard Shad. Green Gizzard Shad. This has got to be my next one. Um, I like these crankbaits because when it's a hot summer day, it doesn't matter if it's if it's fall, summer. This is definitely one of my go-to baits. I have one of these tied on one of my rods at all times. Um, I usually throw this one, or I usually throw the the Strike King um, Sexy Shad. The green gizzard shad is a lot more better for if you're imitating shad. Um, it looks more like a shad, more like a bait. And uh, I'll throw this out next to lily pads. Sometimes I'll throw it right on the edge of lily pads. I'll throw it straight out um, on a like on an edge or anything like that. These go down about two to three feet, uh, maybe even four if you have lighter line. But I love these guys. These work real good, guys. You can always have them on any reel, on any uh, setup. You can use them on your bait casters and your spinning rod. That's how light these are. I tend to go with my bait caster, but I've caught in fish. One of my PBs, my second biggest. I've caught in three, four pounders on this, and I've caught in you know five ounce bass. So these always work. I've gotten a lot of scratches. You guys probably can't see that, but yeah, and um, they work real good. One thing I suggest is changing the hooks because this is after about ten fish. Hooks are messed up, but really doesn't matter. I mean, as long as you got that back one. But yeah, crank baits are definitely my second favorite baits, guys. Uh, real easy to throw, throw them out, slow retrieve, jerk pause, pretty good baits, guys. Hey, guys, all right, so this is my third favorite bait of the lineup of five. This is definitely a tie with <clears throat> my crankbait. Uh, I like crankbaits, and I love spinnerbaits. This is a spinnerbait. Uh, but a lot of people, they catch a lot more fish on crankbaits, and I honestly tend to catch way more fish on crankbaits. Uh, these both tie up real good. There's a pond I go to, and uh, these work so good at ponds you can throw them out anywhere but crankbaits always catch them i love crankbaits so yeah this is definitely have to be right under it but it's very close tie um this spinnerbait is a kvd baby burner spinnerbait in one fourth ounce and it's in sexy shad as you guys can see it's a colorado willow leaf um double bladed as you guys can see and, and um it's sexy shad and you always need to have a trailer hook on these guys you can throw them out there the reason why i like this bait is because you can throw them out there slow just real slow retrieve and you'll always get bit on them it's really easy guys to use and um i really like spinner baits a lot and this spinner bait is a lot smaller so that's a really good thing a uh, really good thing to keep in mind a lot of people use giant spinner baits 
Um, just real big, heavy bladed. I used to have spinner baits like that. Just not worth it. Uh, but these little small spinner baits work as well as crank baits. And I love these baits. They're really easy to catch a lot of fish. So yeah, this is definitely my top third bait uh, for my lineup. Hey guys, all right. So this is my fourth bait for the lineup. Uh, I love this bait a lot. I've caught so many fish on these. Or I actually, I've caught in a, a lot of fish. I can't tell you how much I've caught because I can't remember. But I've gotten a lot of bites on these. Um, but I've caught in around you know five to ten fish already on these baits. Definitely getting into them. Um, not really this bait, but I've definitely got bit and um, using this bait. So I'm tending to use this bait a lot more. This is the jig. <clears throat> And uh, this is one of my favorite jigs to use. Actually, this is my favorite jig to use. This is the Strike King Bitsy Bug Flipping Jig. Um, these jigs are real cheap and they're real small, but for the money, you get so much fish on these guys. Uh, I mean, there's a lot more better New Tech jigs. You know, my buddy Braden told me about New Tech. Um, gotten into, you know, Strike Kings, all types of them. There's just a lot of real good um, jigs like Booyah. But uh, I love Strike King Bitsy Flips. They're $1.99, real cheap. You get a lot of fish on these. A lot of big fish are cotton off these little jigs. Um, my favorite color is black and blue and green pumpkin. The chunks I use are Zoom Super Chunks in black and blue. And this is the way to go. I mean, I've got so many bites on this. This bait is so good. I mean, this jig, I've dropped it in the water to set my rod down. I've gotten bit and set the hook on it. Um, but yeah, I love these uh, these jigs. Jig is definitely one of my, my fourth bait definitely in my top five um, I like this jig because it's real cheap it has a nice weed guard the hooks I mean they're not up to date they're old snail hooks but I mean they do the job the heads on these are real nice uh, the skirts and everything really nice and subtle um, but I like these jigs what you can do is um if you have a local pond you guys like to fish at your really confident pond throw these out next to toolies um, definitely uh, what is lily pads definitely lily pads uh, and they're spawning, throw them on the other side of the lake. Uh, that's what I do, all the ponds. And I'll pop this baby in once I get about 20 pops in, not all the way back. Take another cast, cast right back out. But I love these jigs, real cheap, real nice. And uh, they do catch a lot of fish. So yeah, definitely the Strike King Bitsy Bug Jig. Hey guys, all right, so this is my last favorite bait. Uh, definitely a very great, effective bait. Um, a lot of viewers and comments they're going to definitely say that this should be the first bait. This is probably the easiest way to catch a fish. I love this way, but honestly, I mean, I catch too many fish, and they're just real small. But this is definitely a good way to catch fish, guys. Uh, this is the drop shot technique. And honestly, the best worm to use out there, um, it's my opinion, but it may be a fact that this is probably the best worm to use out there. This is the robo worm. This is the morning dawn color, and I mean, man, these catch so much fish. I don't know what it is about them. I think it's the salt but yeah these are just probably my favorite drop shot baits to use um so drop shot is definitely one of the techniques and robo worms just makes it hit the top um but yeah this is the four and a half inch straight tail morning dawn robo worm it's the hot tip it has the chartreuse tip with the pink and purple finish real nice worms guys you always have to use these when you're drop shot and you can nose hook them you can hook them straight through you can wacky rig these worms there's a couple of techniques used with drop shot but I love these worms, guys. They catch a lot of fish. So uh, definitely, definitely my top five favorite baits are here. So uh, I like the drop shot baits. Go check them out, guys. So yeah. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. That was my top five lineup baits. Uh, favorite baits to use in the summer and the fall. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys uh, stay tuned. And uh, comment if you guys learned anything today or uh, caught any fish on these techniques. But yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, shout out to Rippin' Lips, Braden Scroggins. I'll see you guys later. Thanks.